and unpause. Hello everybody, this is Bloody Sword here yet again with another StarCraft 2 tips video for, uh, for the Terran players. First tip is kind of basic, if you want to save the five minerals that an SCV has, it's a very qu uh, easy tip, all you have to do is right click and uh, press the return cargo button, for me it's S again because I'm grid, but um, you don't have to do any type of shift queuing and it still um, keeps the guy in the gas, so uh, just showing that example, just pressing S, no additional buttons are going to be pressed, and then it still goes to the gas. and whatever. Um, Thors are pretty good against Mutalisks. I don't know how relevant this is since a lot of players are just going for the Widow Mines now, but normally it'll take three volleys from the Thor to kill off a Mutalisk, but if you have plus two attack for the Thor, then the Mutalisk will just get a two shot with the volleys from the Thor, which is a pretty big difference. Uh, another tip is Time Warp. It only affects ground units, so when you have a bunch of marines and a medevac, all you have to do is lift them up, and again, the medevac isn't affected by it. Something to keep in mind. And another thing to keep in mind is that oracles are really goddamn good. They... It takes like six marines in order to kill one oracle. A lot of Protoss players run away when they see this amount of marines, but um, yeah, they can... They do really, really well. Another tip is Banshees uh, versus SCVs and Marines. Most of the time it will take a Banshee two shots to kill an SCV and two shots to kill a Marine. And most of the time Terran players will uh, just be getting the... Actually, I need to land that. They'll be getting the combat shields to uh, counteract that. It'll take three shots, but... You can save your SCVs as well. All you have to do is get plus one armor instead of getting normally the plus one attack, and you can get stem at the same time. So it will save the SCVs. So see, it takes three shots instead of just two, and again, it just has that plus one armor. So that's pretty awesome. As something else to keep in mind is that uh, Vipers, the binding or blinding, yeah, blinding cloud. It affects buildings as well, so if they place it over a missile turret or a planetary fortress, then it will not be able to fire in... Look at this. It's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion, but... The planetary fortress was on the very tip of that, and it shouldn't be able to attack this, I think. I guess I... Uh, I placed that blinding cloud pretty poorly, but if I can do this... Okay, so... That is now blinded. And we get the Zergling and the planetary fortress. No matter what it wants to, it can't it can't shoot the Zergling until the Blinding Cloud is done. And the last tip of the day, I believe. When you come down to a base racing scenario, if you land on an enemy player's add-ons, then it becomes yours. So, that's just something to know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips, and I, I don't know how many more I can think of, but... Hopefully we can get some more. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments and blah, 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 bye.